Hey everyone, as you know, me and Linda recently bought land on Bolivar Peninsula. Well, we're going to give you some helpful things that you need to do, your due diligence before you buy land down there. There's lots of things that you don't know, which I'm going to explain lots of the stuff in this video. Number one, let's talk about the water. On Bolivar Peninsula, lots of the water is already maxed out. Lots of the streets are already maxed out. So if you found a piece of property that you want to buy on Bolivar Peninsula, you need to go to the water department and get them the address and the street name. And they will tell you whether, A, yes, they can run water, there's enough capacity to run water to that piece of property, or no, there's no... Uh, capacity to run water to that property. So if you can't run water, uh, it's going to make it not as valuable and you're going to have to find another alternative to do the uh, how you supply water on your land. Next, let's talk about access to your property. Which is, this is, this is what got us, we've been waiting two months to get a permit now uh, for the culvert. If you're on Highway 87, you've got to go through Texas DOT to get a culvert. They don't charge you for it. However, they, you, they've got to approve your permit to install a culvert out there. And it's going to cost you between eight to $10,000 to do a culvert on Texas DOT on Highway 87. Now, if you're on one of the side roads like Stingery, any of the county maintained roads, then you have to go through the county. They do charge for the permits. I don't know how long it takes, but um, it might be easier than what we've been waiting, working with with uh, Texas DOT. So just keep that in mind that if you don't have access to your property, you're gonna have to either talk to Texas DOT or uh, Galveston County to install uh, to get a permit for, to do your culvert coming onto your property. Number two, let's talk about sewage, which me and Linda, we like to have made a big boo-boo when it came to sewage. There is two sewer options on Bolivar Peninsula on Galveston County. Number one is Udine, which we thought was a public sewage system like the county sewage system. It is not. It is owned by one individual uh, and it could go belly up and then you're in a bind. And, if, and it's, it's very expensive. I think it was going to cost us like $15,000 to tie into this system. Plus a monthly bill of like $130 a month. So you really might want to not consider doing that if you're buying land on Bolivar Peninsula. The second one is a septic system, which uh, the septic system has to be an aerator septic system because of the, 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 you're so close to uh, water level. And that is very expensive too. For a primary septic, it's going to cost you about $12,000. And then you also have to have a yearly uh, maintenance plan that Galveston checks on, which is $600 a year. The first two years after it's installed, whoever installs it gives you, they do the maintenance for two years. Then after that, uh, two years, you will be paying the $600 a year for the maintenance plan. Okay, number three, let's talk about power. For some reason on Bolivar Peninsula, with it being right on the, the beach and everything, uh, it seems like the power goes out quite frequently. So you're probably going to want to have an al al alternative source of power. Most people use a gener generator on their property so that if, they, if the power's up, they use power. However, if the power goes down, which it goes down quite frequently, they have a generator that kicks on and, and powers uh, all their property. So uh, that might be a good option for you if power is a necessity, which in South Texas, 
power is very um, important in the summertime. So yeah, you might want a backup generator or another power source. So now let's talk about what you can and can't do on the property down on Bolivar Peninsula. Number one, it is unrestricted. However, you have got to have permits from Galveston County, whether you're building a house, or you're building an RV park, or you're building an RV uh, shelter for your RV. So you can do whatever you want to with the property. However, you've got to go through Galveston County to get the permits to do it, which uh, it takes time too. You know, we've been waiting on everything for two months just to get the permits. So, you know, uh, you can do anything you want to do, but you just can't go willy-nilly and throw something out there because the county will come out there and shut you down and tell you you've got to get a permit. Uh, and so now you know. You, know, you can do what you want to, but just keep in mind, you've got to have permits for whatever you build. Unless you build a, uh, get a prefab um, storage building, uh, that you don't have to have a permit for. But everything else you do. Okay, and this is something that really don't, it, I guess it does apply to your property, but access to your property. Which, what I mean by that, there's two ways to get on to Bolivar Peninsula and off of Bolivar Peninsula. Number one is Highway 87 going back through Winnie. Number two is the ferry. But with this last hurricane that Houston had, uh, the, uh, once the uh, tropical storm made landfall, both 87 and the ferry was closed down for about two days. So they were stuck. Everybody that stayed was stuck on an island. You know, just because we, we thought it was a, uh, gonna be a, not a bad storm, there was a lot of damage done on Bolivar Peninsula. They have barricades that lines 87, uh, and they was all washed out to the middle of the road, and it, the road was completely underwater. So, you know, just so you know that that sometimes you might not be able to, to get to your property if there's flooding, a tropical storm, hurricane, you may not be able to get to your property for, for a couple of um, days or longer. Well, I hope this helped people out and you, uh, with all the restrictions and stuff down here in Gilcrest. The last part of the video, I'm going to show you drone footage and footage in general of our property that we bought. We bought a half an acre and you can get land down here really reasonable, but just keep in mind everything I told you, everything costs money to install your water, your permits, your culvert, you know, everything costs money. And we bought a half an acre on Highway 87 right across the road from three beach accesses. So, hope you enjoy the, the footage of, the, of our property.